All right, so let's start with a simple plane. So shift A and add a plane. And in geometry node editor, click on new. Let's call this geometry node rocks. And now in the geometry node editor, shift A and search for distribute point on faces. Now I'll add another cube. So shift A, add a cube bring it aside and scale it down and control a apply scale i'll just scale it in z as well so s z and again apply the scale now in my original plane i'll just drag it from the collection inside the node editor now let's plug the geometry to the distribute node and again shift a and search for instance on point. Plug the point to point node. And now our this cube will go to the instance. And finally, the output will go to group output. So here are our cubes instanced. Let's rotate these. And control A apply rotation. Okay, now add a random value node and change it to vector and plug it to rotation. So we want to randomize the rotation. So first I don't want the rotation to be randomized in X and Y. So I'll plug it zero and I'll just increase this. This is a radian value. Now I'll again duplicate this node and plug its value to scale to randomize the scale. This time I'll give a minimum value for x, y and z to be about 0.5 and a maximum value 1.2. So as you can see these are all randomized. Okay so as you can see this is a pretty simple geometry node setup and all we need to do now to make it a single shape is that you come to modifier tab and you can see this is our uh, existing geo node modifier and now we can add a remesh modifier and it is not working right now because if you see in our geometry node setup this is only an instance so we need to add a realize instance node so if we add a node now you can see this is a single mesh. You can smooth it. And this voxel size determines how much uh, amount of geometry you are adding to your shape. So if I go to viewport shading mode, you can see this is the uh, amount of geometry. And if I just make it 0 0.05, so it adds more geometry to it and it adapts more towards the shape. All right, so now let's create a material for this and I'm using the ambient cg.com textures. So this rock 0 to 9 I'll use and you can also use the blender kit materials. Earlier this blender kit was a default add on with blender, but right now you can download it from here and install. So let's create the material. Alright, so in shading editor, click on new and let's drag the textures. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to use the base color and normal. So let's drag the base color first. And if the node wrangler add on is enabled, if you press control T, it will add the texture coordinate and mapping. And now plug this color to base color. So let's call this material uh, rocks and moss. Now to see this material onto our object, we have to go to the node editor and in here add a set material node. And let's select the rock and moss. 
Now if you go to shading, you can see this is applied. However, we have not created any UVs. So let's select the generated output. And in the texture itself, you can select this flat to box and just blend it to a value like about 0.5 and then this will be applied in this way. Now you can control the scale of the texture from this uh, mapping node. So let me just scale it down to about 0.5 maybe about 0.3 so now let's add the normal so let's drag the normal again plug the same vector output and in normal you just need to again select it to box blend it to about 0.5 and in color space select non color now add a normal map Plug it to normal and plug the color to color. Let's add the roughness as well. So this is roughness. Again plug it to roughness. Just decrease the specular and apply the same vector here and change it to box as well. You can also change the rotation of the mapping right from here. Alright, so because this is all procedural, now if you change the shape of this cube, this part will adapt. So let me change it. So first I'll just select the cube and snap it to the world center. So snap it to cursor. And now go to edit mode and AXF for deleting all the vertices. And shift A and let's add a icosphere. So you can see this adapts to this icosphere shape. You can just scale it down. And you can add multiple shapes as well. So again, if I sh duplicate it, you see this adapts to the shape. Okay, so right now, as you can see, we are using only the mesh shape. So this plane for instancing these. Now to add a little bit more detail, uh, I'll use a bezier curve. So again, shift A and add a bezier. Go to edit mode and press 1, A and X to delete all the vertices. We'll draw the vertices later. So for now, again go to the geometry node setup and drag this bezier curve inside. Now again, I'm going to use the instance on points. So I'll just duplicate it. And I'll also use a curve to point node. You can directly use this geometry to points as well. However, if you use this node, you get all these values as well. So just plug this geometry to curve and you can change it to length. And this will resample it according to the length. So let me set it to about 0.3. Now plug the point to points. And again, I'm going to use the same object from here. Plug this geometry to instance and similarly this is scale to scale. Let's plug the rotation as well. And now we just need to join this with the original geometry. So again shift A join geometry plug it before the uh, realize instance and plug it in the join. Now if I go to Bezier, let me just pull in here, select the Bezier, go to edit mode, select this draw tool and start drawing over to the surface.
So right now you can see that this is uh, actually appending it sidewards. So we can just again go to our geometry node editor and set it to relative rather than original. So now you can see it just uh, adds to the geometry. All right, now let's modify the material a bit. So I want to add grass on these top surfaces of this rock. So let's go to shading once again. And this is our standard uh, rock shader. So I have painted this simple grass texture and a bit of uh, flower patches over it. I'm going to use this one. So just drag it inside our shader editor. So now to use this grass with our rock, we need to add these two. So for that, you can just control shift and right click drag to create a mix node and just plug this vector to the grass texture as well and do the same thing box with a blend of 0.5 and let me just change the uh, mapping rotation to 0. Now I want to change the grass to be appeared on the uh, top faces only. So for that I am going to use a node that is geometry. So shift A search for geometry. And I'm going to use the normal. So I'll need a separate node. So separate X, Y, Z. Plug the normal to vector. And now we'll use the Z output. So let's add a color ramp as well. Plug the Z output to vector. And the color output of this color ramp to the vector of the mix node. So now you can see uh, this is just giving the opposite of what we want. So we'll just plug these color 1 to color 2. Just flip these. So now you can see it is on the right position. We can uh, just control how much grass we want from here. Alright, so this is how I have created these basic uh, rock shapes. And uh, as always, this blend file is available to download. The link is in the description. And I have made three separate collections, as you can see here, Rock 1, Rock 2 and Desert Rock. And these have these three objects. Draw me, this is the curve. Shape is this shape. And the shape me is uh, to edit this shape. So if you go to edit of shape me, you can just extrude or edit this basic mesh. And in draw of the curve, you can just draw any shape you want. Likewise, if I go to rock 2, here I have used uh, this uh, simple cube shape to create this. And finally, in the desert rock, I have used another desert rock material to create this shape. This has this uh, draw and shape also. So again, if you go to draw, you can just draw any shape you want on top of this. Alright, so I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.